What does it mean to be asymptomatic? You say, I got, it's so funny. I got a ton of texts and emails from you guys in the last week about this. So I'm like, okay, clearly I got to talk about this. Uh, what is asymptomatic transmission? What's asymptomatic infection? Is that me? How do I know? Um, all right, so let's just go right into it. Um, so asymptomatic infection, first of all, think about the word asymptomatic um, means that you are not symptomatic. It's the opposite of having symptoms. Asymptomatic means you do not have symptoms. However, in the case of coronavirus, asymptomatic infection means that you are infected with the virus, but you don't have symptoms. Okay, does that kind of make sense? Um, so asymptomatic infection means that you're just doing your thing and you know, you're good, you feel good, but you are infected with the virus, okay? Now that is super important because when we talk about asymptomatic transmission, asymptomatic infection, I know you guys have heard all about this on the news and stuff. The reason why we care so much about this is because think about it. If you don't even know you're infected because you have no symptoms, you could just be spreading that virus here and spreading it there and psh, giving it here, right? Not trying to make light of it, but it's the truth. If you don't know you have the virus, you can spread it to others easily, right? One of the things that tells us that we're infected with stuff is we feel sick and we know something's wrong. But if you are asymptomatic and you're infected, you may not know. And one of the reasons why we went to wearing cloth face masks uh, whenever we go to, like, to the grocery store to pick up a prescription at the pharmacy is because we do think it's possible that a lot of people are infected and asymptomatic and might be transmitting the virus to other people and not even knowing this is happening. Why? because they're asymptomatic. They have no symptoms. Guys, this is what makes it so important about asymptomatic infection and uh, asymptomatic transmission. So I hope that makes a lot of sense um, and why those people are so important. They really could be spreading a good amount of the virus to other people and not even knowing it because they don't have symptoms. There's another thing called pre-symptomatic transmission. That is a person who is infected. They just haven't gotten symptoms yet and they are transmitting the virus to other people. So there's asymptomatic and pre-symptomatic. It's these asymptomatic infected folks that we think, again, might be transmitting the virus to other people unknowingly, which is, I mean, it's it's really kind of a big deal. So. Um, Guys, what's really important you say, so I don't want you to freak out, like don't freak out, but you know how we always say, just kind of assume you're infected or assume someone else is. We say that to just make sure we're using what we call universal precaution and keeping us all safe. That means when you go outside, wear your cloth face mask, okay? Over the nose, over the mouth, make sure there are no gaps, keep it clean, etc. Don't touch your face. Wash your hands 20 seconds. Use hand sanitizer if you can. Um, and, and minimize the amount of times you're going out. Do that social distancing. Guys, that's why all of that is so important. I'm Dr. Jen Cottle. Thanks so much. And I will see you again soon.